Hi, what is good everyone? It's Daniel here. And in the next five minutes, I'm gonna take you through my everyday tech carry as a student in 2024. We'll be going from the more common stuff to the less common stuff I have. I'll take some videos along the way, somewhere here or here, if I've made any separate videos about these products, and I'll leave a link in the description to find all the products. The last thing is quite a unique one, so stick around to the end to find out. Well, let's dive in. I then use a Motorola Moto G23. There's already a successor called the G24, but I don't really care. For less than 200 bucks, you have a smartphone that has all the basics right, and that's what I care about. Just what I need without wasting any money. These are my shoes for my long walks. The Skechers Go Walk Flex. I really like Skechers because they're qualitative, very comfortable and good looking. Now, the soles are pretty big though, so I wouldn't recommend them for driving a car. Next up on my list are my headphones. These are the JBL Live 660 NC. Now, I really like these headphones, mainly because they deliver decent enough audio quality and they're just so comfortable. And for about a hundred bucks, I think it's a great deal. Now that you're here, if you're enjoying the video, please hit that like and subscribe button down there. You'll get amazing tech content your way and it will help me out. On with the video. For my studies, I use the Lenovo IdeaPad 5 Pro. Now this is quite an expensive laptop. It's over 1100 bucks. It's quite big and heavy, but you get a beautiful 2.5K screen and top class performance with the Ryzen 7 and NVIDIA GeForce built-in. I love working on this thing. Backlit, comfortable typing and the big 16-inch screen are ticking the boxes. So far, I have never experienced anything unexpected. Now, I think this is already an older model, so you might want to consider something newer. For a full day of work, you should take a charger with you. Let me know in the comments if you would be interested in a full review. As my daily watch, it is a G-Shock GBA900. Mainly because G-Shocks are affordable, very rugged and this specific model tells you your walking distance and steps. Wears very comfortable, not too big or heavy. In other words, a big bang for the buck. All right, we are now getting to the less common stuff I usually take with me on a daily basis. Mainly for entertainment today, I have this iBit Mini 5th generation here. It's already four years old and I doubt if I actually still need it. It is quite a powerful machine though, using its A12 Bionic as the CPU. When I was at high school, I did use it a lot for Zoom, for Teams, for mailing, for doing homework and for just being creative. For my YouTube videos, I am using a dedicated camera. This is the Sony ZV-1F. I have been using it for a few months now and it's just amazing how simple to use this thing is. You're not fiddling around with different lenses or other parts, just shoot and be done. I hope I made a good choice because this camera was more than 500 bucks. You guys can be the judge of the video quality. Well, the last thing on my list is the most unique one. Is this thing. This is a true utility fixer without the E and I got it from my parents for my 12th birthday back in 2017. It's a little device with about 20 separate tools inside, such as a screwdriver, a file, can opener, etc. You can hang it from your trousers like this and it goes with me almost everywhere I go. So that's it. This is my everyday tech carry for 2024. If you have any questions or remarks about these products, feel free to comment down below and I'll try my best to give a reply to you. Again, all links are in the description down below. If you enjoyed this video, I am sure you're gonna like this one as well. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.